Um, well, I've been with my boyfriend for a few months, and um, I've noticed that he, all his ex-girlfriends have been really skinny and stuff, and um, I feel like I'm not good enough because I, my, I've had two kids, so I still look like I'm pregnant. I'm a tested... I've got really bad body issues, basically. And and so when when he met you, you said you've been with him for a few months? Yeah. And so so you haven't changed in appearance in any way. He fell in love with you for the person that you look like then. Um, well, I have been sort of trying my best to get a lot skinnier and things, but he doesn't seem to notice at all. I've got, I've got a feeling that Linda might say oh, the same things I just yeah. said. Then. Yeah, ex Do you know what the interesting thing is? I think we're all raised in this society, especially as girls, to think that the most important thing about us is the way that we look. And the worry is, is that if you believe that if you end up putting all your self-esteem eggs in the beauty basket you'll always feel less than because there always will be someone taller or shorter or skinnier or fat, whatever the case may be I'm guessing and I wish he was there to speak to that he probably adores the way you look but beyond that if I asked him what he loved about you he'd probably mention things that you can't even see about yourself the thing is Helen we're programmed to kind of look in the mirror and focus on what we don't like and just by the way that you're talking you're constantly talking about what you're not and I wanted to say this to you because I just kind of reading what you'd said before to one of the researchers you know these you know when you talk about yourself in this negative way these these words that we say they're not intangible if I'm constantly bullying myself and saying I'm not good enough or I'm not pretty enough it affects us it affects the way we relate to people around us it affects our confidence it even affects our ability to feel in control of things so what I would say to you is start thinking about it. I mean let me ask you if I was to ask him what do you love about about your part what does he love about you what would he tell me um. I think he'd tell you that I, I don't honestly know. Probably my skin. He loves my skin. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. That's really lovely. Do you know what? I, you know, I'd want you, I'll ask him. Ask him, because I think sometimes we've got this sort of selective hearing. Yeah. You know, we only hear what we want to. And I think it's so important. It's a really small thing, but you've got little ones. I can hear them in the back. And as a mother myself, the best way to inoculate our kids, to make them, you know, not prone to this, is to get, for them to see that we like ourselves. So make sure you take time to kind of focus on stuff you like.